In this video, we will be comparing the Roland FP30X with the Yamaha P125. Let's start with polyphony. Here, Roland has 256 and Yamaha has 192 polyphony. Number of voices, Roland has 56 and Yamaha has 24. Here, the Roland FP30X features the PHA4 with escapement. Same with the Roland FP30, the previous model, and the Yamaha P125 features the rated Hammer standard, pure CF sound engine, and it has 24 voices to choose from. What I like in this Roland FP30X is the Bluetooth MIDI. You can connect your keyboard direct to your computer or phone using the Bluetooth MIDI and also you can stream your phone audio direct to the speaker using the Bluetooth audio. You have new line out for your external amplifier and we have effects with rotary speaker for your organ and modulation for your electric piano. You can save also your recorded performance in the USB flash drive the ph4 standard with escapement it really feels like the real acoustic piano when you play uh, compared with um, the yamaha p125 the fp30x is more responsive when, when you play it's very expressive with dynamics and that's the fun part of the roland fp30 is the key action feels like the real it has the escapement like the acoustic piano what i don't like of this fp30 is the bluetooth midi latency you can really uh, feel the latency of the bluetooth compared with the wire and if you're connecting it first time on your computer or in your phone you will have a difficulty in connecting the device to your keyboard so and the action also is very very noisy after a month of playing you will hear a tick sound and you need to service the the keyboard you will put grease so it will not sound uh, that bad and if you're playing uh, traveling it's very very heavy also to carry what I like in this P125 is the built-in speaker output is balanced. When you play piano, uh, the built-in speaker really has a balanced sound. And the USB audio interface for recording is the best that Yamaha P125 has. And if you're recording, you can stream the audio direct to the USB to your computer. and also, if you're using a virtual instrument, uh, you can use the built-in speaker of your Yamaha P125 to monitor the sound of your computer or your virtual instrument like main stage and contact. And if you're traveling also, this is very, very light compared with the FP30X, it's just 24 pounds. What I don't like of this Yamaha P125 is the clunky keybed. After six months of heavy playing, you will really feel the clunkiness of the keyboard and you need to service it and fix it. It has also uh, limited sound choices, so uh, it only has 24 and the plastic chassis is easily broken when you transport or bump it on your car. So, and also you cannot store your recorded uh, performance to USB. You need to hook it on your computer or on your phone. And the effects is limited only for reverb. And that's what I don't like of this keyboard. But if you can hook this one on the computer or using virtual instrument, it would be great. Let's compare the sound of these two board. Comment down below which one is better.